Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Glitchy Mario. Now today, since it's the first episode, this is just going to be the introduction of what we're going to be doing. So one of the things is repairs, which I'm going to do right here. I'm going to repair this Game Boy Color. Its speaker is dying, so you can barely hear a sound out of it, even at full volume. So, I'm going to be fixing that today. I am going to sacrifice this DS Lite to do it. It has a bad top screen, but it has good speakers. So, it would be a perfect candidate for turning into a Game Boy Macro, and I can harvest this speaker and put it in here. Let's get on to the repair. So the first thing that you're going to need is a Y-tip screwdriver. You flip around the back, take the batteries out. Remove the cartridge if you have one. Mine's already out. And then you'll have to remove these six screws. Holding the back plate on. And as you can tell, this screw is being stubborn to get out, but... Anyways, it's unscrewed so we can lift this top case off. Then you'll be exposed to the guts. But now, the next one you'll need is small Phillips head, like this one here. So now on to the fun part, the actually doing stuff. But first you gotta take it more apart to actually get to the speaker. So you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew all these screws. To take off this ribbon cable here, take your finger, your nail, and pop one of those off and then do the same with the other one. And then just take the cable, and it should just come right out. Okay, since we got the board out, it's now time to start soldering. So I'll see you when I solder. Welcome to um, my garage. Okay, now my soldering iron's all ready to go. I'm going to desolder this speaker. I'm going to desolder this speaker right now. So, Whew, wind. There we go. Now it's desoldered. For you guys following along that did this, give yourself a pat on the back. You did it. Maybe, I don't know. But, anyways. Now time to remove the Game Boy speaker. I'm just going to do the same thing. Just take the speaker wire. Just take the soldering iron. And just put it on. If the side of the melt, not inhale the fumes. Thanks. And then, as you can see, came off quite nicely. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm just going to put it right there. 
Wait for the solder to melt. I want to be in a well ventilated area to do this. There you go. The speaker is now officially desoldered. So now that the speaker's wire is free, don't touch it, because it's hot. But now since that's done, I'm going to actually stop soldering for a little bit, and then turn your attention to the case plastics. Okay, so I'm back up here with my speaker. And this is where the speaker would normally be. But as you can see, this DS speaker doesn't quite fit. Because this lip is in the way. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in here. And find a good spot somewhere here where I can cut this where I can cut the case plastics to fit this speaker in here so I'll show you when that's done so the, that might be hard to see but I was able to cut out a piece of plastic that lets the DS speaker fit pretty good in here so now let's get back to soldering Hello, now I'm back in my garage again, ready to re-solder this speaker. So, I have the speaker right here. I'm actually going to take off these wires, because we don't need them. And we have the soldering iron here. My soldering job isn't good, but it works. Okay, there's one of them down. Now for the other. Hoping I don't bridge these two together. Okay, now they're, sp they're wired together, and they don't look bridged, so yeah, now I'm going to put it all back together now. Okay, now I've got it together just enough to test. I've got the speaker hanging out here. Now, hoping nothing blows up. Yes! I heard it! Well, this speaker is officially fixed. Now I'm gonna put it all back together, and I'll be ready to play some Dr. Mario. As you can see in here, this Game Boy Color is now working perfectly. That's my Game Boy Color repair. Everything works now. I do wish it kind of got a little louder, but it works. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and please comment to tell me how I did, how I can make other videos not as bad, how I can improve my videos, and just tell me what you thought of this video in general.